Welcome to Extension Out Loud audio publications. You are listening to Identify Hydrangeas to Know When to Prune, written and read by University of Georgia Extension Agriculture and Natural Resources agent Heather Kolich. First published on June 7, 2024 on the UGA Extension for Scythe County blog. I've always considered hydrangeas a staple of southern landscapes, so I was delighted to discover one in the backyard last spring during the continuing efforts to clear out a jungle of invasive, non-native privet. Once freed from the suffocating privet, the little big leaf hydrangea, Hydrangea macrophylla, pushed out a few lovely blue flowers. I pruned the bush a bit after blooming, and this year it has doubled in size and blooms. The blue flower indicates that the soil is acidic, as is normal for Georgia soils in the Piedmont region. One of the magical things about big leaf hydrangeas is that this same plant would bloom pink if the soil pH were alkaline. Hydrangeas are garden treasures throughout the U.S., Europe, and Asia. They grow in hardiness zones 3 through 10, present as climbing vines, small shrubs, large shrubs, and small trees, can be deciduous or evergreen, and offer a variety of bloom shapes. The bloom is a compound inflorescence made up of many flowers that keep coming throughout summer. Hydrangeas perform best and can thrive for years when planted in locations where they have afternoon shade, well-drained soil, and plenty of water. Annual pruning ensures good blooming for the next summer, but the timing of pruning depends on the type of hydrangea. The most common types of hydrangeas we see in landscapes are smooth, hydrangea arborescens, oak leaf, hydrangea quercifolia, panicle, hydrangea paniculata, and big leaf, hydrangea macrophylla. Native to the eastern U.S., hydrangea arborescens, or smooth hydrangeas, are cold, hardy, deciduous, small shrubs. Smooth hydrangeas produce a big pom-pom bloom that is naturally white, but plant breeders have developed several cultivars with pink flowers. It grows three to five feet tall and wide with a rounded form. Leaves are simple and ovate with serrate margins and turn golden yellow in the fall. Smooth hydrangea blooms on new spring growing shoots, so prune hydrangea arborescence in late winter to help stimulate new growth. Pruning smooth hydrangea to 6 to 12 inches above the ground stimulates vigorous regrowth. Oak leaf hydrangea is a large shrub that gets its name from the shape of its leaves. Hydrangea quercifolia is native to the southeastern United States and grows quickly, reaching six to eight feet tall and wide. In Georgia, it performs best in full to partial shade. It has a loose, irregular form and roots easily where branches touch ground that is deep with organic matter. Blooms are composed of white flowers in branched clusters on long panicles. As the flowers mature, sepals that overlap flower edges turn a rosy pink color. Leaves turn deep red in the fall. Oak leaf hydrangeas flower on old wood, so prune hydrangea quercifolia immediately after flowers fade. Prune lightly, removing spent blooms and leaving plenty of stem length. Oak leaf hydrangea has naturally exfoliating bark that adds a textural interest to the plant during winter dormancy. Multi-stemmed and growing up to 25 feet tall, hydrangea paniculata, also called panicle hydrangea and tree hydrangea, is native to eastern and southeastern Asia. Panicle hydrangea is more tolerant of sun exposure than other species are. Cone-shaped blooms start white, then change to green, pink, or red as summer wanes. Deciduous leaves turn gold in fall. Panicle hydrangeas bloom on new spring growth, so prune hydrangea paniculata in late winter before spring growth begins. Prune lightly to remove old flowers and dead branches and to improve plant form, 
but resist cutting it back hard. Allow panicle hydrangeas to grow tall and express their various arching, cascading, or erect habits. Big leaf hydrangea is the beloved ancient plant that is the image of hydrangea for many artists and gardeners. Native to Japan, there are now over 500 cultivars of hydrangea macrophylla. Typical plants grow three to six feet high and wide as rounded mounds, but some reach 10 feet. Traditional big leaf hydrangeas bloom on old wood, so prune hydrangea macrophylla immediately after flowers fade. Some newer hydrangea macrophylla cultivars are reblooming types that bloom on new vegetative spring growth as well as on last year's wood. These remontant hydrangeas were trademarked endless summer and brought to market in 2004. Reblooming hydrangeas can be pruned immediately after blooms fade and if a hard freeze kills the buds, they can be pruned in late winter and will still bloom. Thank you for listening to this audio recording of Identify Hydrangeas to Know When to Prune. For more information, please contact the Cooperative Extension Office for your county.